Dealing with dislikes. How to make friends and keep the peace. 10 signs someone secretly dislikes you. Human relationships are complex, and while we all hope for the best when interacting with others, there are times when someone may secretly harbor negative feelings towards us. Detecting when someone dislikes you can be challenging because people often mask their true emotions. However, there are subtle signs that can help you uncover these hidden sentiments. In this video, we will explore 10 common signs that may indicate someone secretly dislikes you. 1. Limited eye contact. One of the most obvious signs that someone may secretly dislike you is their reluctance to make eye contact. Maintaining eye contact is a sign of engagement and positive interaction. So, when someone consistently avoids looking at you, it could be a sign of underlying resentment or discomfort. 2. Short, monosyllabic responses. Pay attention to how the person responds when you engage in conversation. If they frequently give you brief, one-word answers and seem disinterested in continuing the conversation, it may be an indication of their negative feelings towards you. 3. Frequent cancellations or avoidance. Consistently canceling plans or finding excuses to avoid spending time with you can be a clear sign of someone's reluctance to be around you. If you notice this pattern, it might be time to reassess the dynamics of your relationship. 4. Lack of support or enthusiasm. When someone secretly dislikes you, they are unlikely to support your endeavors or show enthusiasm for your achievements. They may downplay your accomplishments or offer minimal encouragement, indicating their indifference or disdain. 5. Negative body language. Watch for negative body language cues such as crossed arms, turned away shoulders, or a clenched jaw when you are around. These signs can indicate discomfort and resentment, even if they don't say it outright. Gossip or negative remarks. People who secretly dislike you may engage in gossip or make disparaging remarks behind your back. They might try to undermine your reputation or spread rumors, which is a clear indication of their negative feelings. 7. Lack of personal disclosure. In healthy relationships, people often share personal thoughts and feelings. If someone withholds personal information or avoids sharing details of their life with you, it may suggest a lack of trust and a hidden dislike. 8. Frequent criticism. Continuous criticism or nitpicking over trivial matters is another sign that someone may secretly dislike you. They may find fault in almost everything you do, making it challenging to have a harmonious relationship. 9. Isolation in group settings. In group settings, pay attention to how the person interacts with you compared to others. If they consistently exclude you from conversations or social activities, it could be a sign of their underlying animosity. 10. Unwillingness to resolve conflicts. When conflicts arise, people who secretly dislike you may be unwilling to resolve them. They might avoid conversations about issues, which can lead to a strained and unhealthy relationship. While it's essential to be aware of these signs, it's crucial not to jump to conclusions too quickly. People can have bad days or other personal issues that affect their behavior. Instead of making hasty judgments, try to initiate an open and honest conversation with the person in question to understand their feelings and concerns better. Effective communication can often lead to the resolution of misunderstandings and potentially mend the relationship. Resolving conflicts with someone who secretly dislikes you can be challenging, but it's not impossible. Here are some steps you can take to address and potentially resolve the conflict. 1. Self-reflection. Start by reflecting on your behavior and actions. Are there any reasons why this person might have developed negative feelings towards you? Understanding your role in the conflict is the first step in addressing it. 2. Initiate a conversation. Approach the person in a non-confrontational and private setting. Express your desire to talk and address any issues that may be causing tension. Be open and honest about your intentions and willingness to resolve the conflict. 3. Active listening. When you engage in the conversation, listen actively to what the other person has to say. Encourage them to express their feelings and concerns. This can help you gain insight into their perspective and why they may dislike you. 4. Stay calm and respectful. Keep your emotions in check during the conversation. 
It's essential to remain calm and respectful, even if the other person expresses their negative feelings or criticisms. Responding with anger or defensiveness will only escalate the conflict. 5. Ask for specifics. If the person is willing to share their reasons for disliking you, ask for specific examples or incidents that have contributed to their feelings. Understanding the root causes of the conflict can help you work towards a resolution. 6. Apologize and take responsibility. If you discover that you have played a role in the conflict, be willing to apologize and take responsibility for your actions. Demonstrating humility and a willingness to change can go a long way in resolving the issue. If you found value so far in this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel, it will be appreciated. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. 7. Seek common ground. Try to identify areas of common interest or shared goals that can serve as a basis for building a more positive relationship. Finding common ground can help create a sense of unity and cooperation. 8. Set boundaries. If the conflict arises from fundamental differences in values or beliefs, it may be necessary to establish boundaries to maintain a civil and respectful relationship. Agree on what topics should be avoided or how disagreements can be handled without turning into conflicts. 9. Mediation. In some cases, it may be helpful to involve a neutral third party, such as a mediator or a trusted friend, to facilitate the conversation and help both parties find common ground. 10. Give it time. Resolving conflicts takes time, and not all issues can be resolved immediately. Be patient and willing to work on the relationship over time, demonstrating a consistent commitment to change and improvement. 11. Know when to let go. Despite your best efforts, some conflicts may not be resolvable. In such cases, it's essential to recognize when it's best to minimize or end the interaction. To reduce stress and negativity in your life. Remember that not all conflicts can be resolved, and it's essential to prioritize your own well-being and mental health. In some instances, it may be healthier to maintain distance or even disengage from individuals who harbor deep-seated dislike for reasons that are beyond your control. The key is to approach the situation with openness, empathy, and a genuine willingness to find a resolution when possible. Dealing with someone who dislikes you can be challenging, but there are practical tips you can employ to manage the situation and potentially improve your relationship. Here are some actionable steps for setting boundaries and communicating more effectively. 1. Maintain self-confidence. Confidence can help you handle the situation better. Believe in your self-worth, and don't let someone else's negative feelings define your own value. 2. Set personal boundaries. Establish clear boundaries for what you will and won't tolerate in your interactions with the person who dislikes you. Communicate these boundaries assertively but respectfully. 3. Avoid reacting emotionally. When faced with negativity or criticism, try not to react emotionally. Responding with emotional outbursts or defensiveness can escalate the situation. Stay composed and focused on addressing the issue constructively. 4. Use I statements. When discussing problems or concerns, frame your statements using I language. For example, say, I feel hurt when, instead of, you always make me feel. This approach is less accusatory and encourages a more empathetic response. 5. Listen actively. Actively listen to what the other person is saying, even if it's negative. They may have valid concerns that need to be addressed. Reflect on their words and ask clarifying questions to ensure you understand their perspective. 6. Seek compromise. When addressing conflicts or disagreements, aim for compromise. Find middle ground where both parties can agree, and be open to finding solutions that benefit both sides. 7. Avoid blame and accusations. Steer clear of blaming or accusing the other person. Focus on the issue at hand rather than making personal attacks. Address the behavior, not the individual. 8. Limit contact if necessary. If attempts to resolve the situation are consistently unsuccessful, consider limiting your contact with the person. Reducing exposure can help reduce stress and negativity. 9. Surround yourself with supportive people. 
Spend time with friends and family who support and uplift you. Their positive influence can help you cope with the challenges of dealing with someone who dislikes you. 10. Practice empathy. Try to understand the other person's perspective and feelings, even if they dislike you. Empathy can lead to a more compassionate and productive approach to conflict resolution. 11. Focus on personal growth. Use the situation as an opportunity for personal growth. Reflect on what you can learn from the experience and how you can improve your communication and interpersonal skills. 12. Avoid gossip and negative talk. Resist the temptation to engage in gossip or negative talk about the person with others. This behavior can further escalate the conflict and damage your own reputation. 13. Maintain professionalism, in a work setting. In a professional environment, continue to perform your job duties with professionalism and integrity. Regardless of the other person's attitude, let your work speak for itself. 14. Consider mediation. If the situation doesn't improve, and it's impacting your life significantly, you may want to involve a neutral third party to mediate the issue and help find a resolution. 15. Know when to walk away. In some cases, the best course of action is to disengage from a toxic or unresolvable situation. Prioritize your well-being and mental health. Ultimately, dealing with someone who dislikes you can be a challenging and emotionally taxing experience. However, by setting clear boundaries, maintaining open and respectful communication, and prioritizing your well-being, you can navigate these situations more effectively and, in some cases, even work towards a more positive relationship. Recognizing if you dislike someone else. While it's important to know how to deal with someone who dislikes you, it's equally vital to engage in introspection and recognize if you're the one who dislikes someone else. Understanding your own feelings and behavior can help you foster healthier relationships and personal growth. Here are some steps to help you identify and address any negative feelings you might have towards others. 1. Self-reflection. Take time to reflect on your own feelings and reactions towards the person in question. Ask yourself if there are specific reasons or incidents that have led to your dislike. Understanding the root causes of your negative feelings is the first step to addressing them. 2. Consider personal biases. Be aware of any biases or preconceived notions that may be influencing your perception of the person. Sometimes, our past experiences or prejudices can cloud our judgment and lead to dislike. 3. Analyze triggers. Identify what behaviors or actions trigger your negative feelings. Are there specific traits or actions that irritate you? Recognizing these triggers can help you address them more effectively. 4. Practice empathy. Try to see the situation from the other person's perspective. Understand that everyone has their own flaws and imperfections. Empathy can help you develop a more compassionate outlook. 5. Separate the behavior from the person. Distinguish between disliking someone's behavior and disliking the person as a whole. It's possible to address specific actions or traits without harboring negative feelings towards the individual as a whole. 6. Open and honest communication. If you're comfortable and believe it's appropriate, consider discussing your concerns or issues with the person. Communication can often lead to better understanding and resolution. 7. Seek mediation. If the conflict seems too challenging to address on your own, Involving a neutral third party or mediator can help facilitate productive discussions and resolution. 8. Work on personal growth. Use this situation as an opportunity for self-improvement. Reflect on what you can learn from your own feelings and behaviors. Work on developing greater emotional intelligence and interpersonal skills. 9. Know when to disengage. In some cases, it may be best to limit or discontinue your interactions with the person. If your feelings of dislike persist and cause distress, prioritize your own well-being. 10. Seek professional help if necessary. If your negative feelings towards someone are affecting your mental health and well-being, consider speaking with a therapist or counselor who can provide guidance and strategies for managing your emotions and relationships. Recognizing if you dislike someone is an essential aspect of personal growth and maintaining healthy relationships. 
By being honest with yourself, working on your own emotions, and seeking resolution or distance when necessary. You can better manage your feelings and promote more positive interactions with others. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Don't forget to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.